affirmative action, for the most part, has really benefited blacks who really didn't need affirmative action. Oh, there's no, affirmative action is a great way for black PhDs to get uh, endowed chairs. It's a terrible way for some kid in the South Bronx to try to get his first job. Uh, what affirmative action does is create an incentive for people to hire those who have a proven track record, those who have degrees and things like that. Uh, it makes it more dangerous for the employer to hire an, untra an untrained uh, person with no track record because if he has to fire that person then he's letting himself in for, for legal trouble. In other words, you, you, can, you can hire a, a white of very doubtful qualifications and if he doesn't work out, throw him out in the street the next week. You hire blacks of doubtful qualifications, throw them out in the street the next week and you've got the NAACP, you've got the uh, EEOC, you've got God knows who all to contend with. The employers have long ago figured this one out and so they have not hired those blacks who are at all doubtful, either in terms of qualifications or simply not enough experience to know how good they are. You see this in the data. Blacks who have education and who have experience have been moving up on whites and in some cases overtaking whites. If you look at blacks who have not finished high school, uh, blacks who come from a uh, uh, background of uh, families that are broken and so forth, they are falling further and further behind, not only further behind the population in general, but further behind whites of this, with the same disadvantages. What do you blame for that? You're not blaming middle class blacks who are beneficiaries of affirmative action? Are you? I'm blaming the incentives created by affirmative action because when it comes to the, the incentives that are created, the businessman is going to try to protect himself whatever way he can, and that means hiring those blacks who are overqualified, who have a long track record, and so on. And that's what all the data show, that the more, for example, black couples where the husband and wife are both college educated now make more money than white couples where the husband and wife are both educated. But the black uh, uh, female-headed family has lost real income in absolute term of terms over the past several years and has fallen further behind white female-headed families. So the very opposite trends are going on at the same time. And you can't argue this because of blackness or racism because both of them are black people. One group is shooting way ahead, one is falling further and further behind. And a large part of that reason, I believe, and the data seem to suggest, is because the incentives created by affirmative action and similar kinds of programs uh, just make it too dangerous to take a chance.